the alarming allegations from the newly unsealed search warrant to enter former President Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate. Justice Department officials had probable cause to believe that he was keeping classified documents with national security implications in his home. The Washington Post reporting that some of those documents were related to nuclear weapons. Here's ABC's chief Washington correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Tonight, an eye-opening window into why the FBI took the extraordinary step of executing a search warrant at Mar-a-Lago. A federal judge unsealing the warrant, making it public, along with an accounting of what federal agents seized from former President Trump's property. The documents revealed just how much federal agents found. 27 boxes of government records, including 11 sets of classified documents. The property receipt, a copy of which Trump's attorney received from federal agents at Mar-a-Lago on Monday night, shows that the 11 sets of classified material included four sets marked top secret and one at an even higher classification, top secret SCI, a classification reserved for some of the most sensitive intelligence possessed by the U.S. government, meant to be viewed only in a highly secure location. TSSCI information or intelligence is highly sensitive and it is marked or classified as top secret SCI in acknowledgement that the disclosure of that information would incur grave harm to the national security of the United States. The document does not say what the classified information is. The Washington Post has reported that among the material sought by federal agents was related to U.S. nuclear weapons programs. The warrant reveals agents were looking for evidence of three potential crimes, violations of the Espionage Act, unlawful removal of public records, and obstruction of justice by concealing, altering, or destroying records to impede an investigation. Agents also recovered unclassified records. One item marked the President of France, another executive grant of clemency for Trump ally Roger Stone, that along with binders of photos and a handwritten note. The warrant, signed by a Florida magistrate, allowed FBI agents to search Trump's office, all storage rooms and areas used or available to be used by Trump and his staff, giving agents wide authority to search much of the property. The execution of the search warrant on Monday came after DOJ made a months-long effort to get Trump to turn the materials over, including a subpoena earlier this year and a visit by a small group of federal agents to Mar-a-Lago in June when Trump was at the property. As the attorney general said, they tried other routes before executing the search warrant. Where possible, it is standard practice to seek less intrusive means as an alternative to a search and to narrowly scope any search that is undertaken. The warrant did not grant access to private guest rooms of Mar-a-Lago or areas otherwise used by people other than Trump and his staff. The former president said he was encouraging the immediate release of those documents even though his lawyers had had them since Monday and could have released them at any time. Before the warrant was made public, House Republicans on the Intelligence Committee today called for the release of more information, demanding evidence of an imminent security threat to justify the search. They want the Justice Department to make public the affidavit presented to the judge outlining the justification for the search warrant. The FBI raid of President Trump is a complete abuse and overreach of its authority. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi criticized Republicans for attacking the FBI and suggesting the search was politically motivated. You would think there would be an adult in the Republican room that would say, just calm down, see what the facts are, and let's go for that, instead of, insti again, uh, instigating uh, assaults on law enforcement. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.